So that's what I'm looking for. Someone who has uh, a, a topic. And how do you find out if it's a topic or not? It's a topic if it has a if it has an audience, a specific audience searching for that keyword, that term. For example, if it has a Wikipedia page, it's pretty uh, good estimate that it's a good topic, okay? Because they wouldn't create a Wikipedia page without people actually searching for that specific topic, okay? As opposed to if it's a topic like someone says, oh, I just want to change the world. I want to help the world. I want to, you know, that's too broad of a topic. It's not a specific audience. It's not a specific topic. You know, so I'm looking for a specific topic, number one. Number two, real life passion, knowledge, experience. I could tell because their story, okay? And I do trust people. If they're lying, usually they don't like write long cover letter answers anyways, okay? If they're telling the truth and they're passionate about it and they're humble about it and they want to collaborate and they respect the opportunity and the project instead of thinking, it's, you know, they're too good for this project or they're so great that, you know, everyone's talented, but they don't realize the what I'm offering on the table as well as a publisher, okay? I'm offering a certain type of service that costs a lot of money alternatively, you know, by a lot of uh, um, services out there. You know, it's a different type of publishing service, but I still help you become a published author with this collaborative uh, project. So sometimes people don't see see that you know they only see their side oh well i'm an expert at this and that's great i respect that but sometimes the experts you know freelancers not the majority sometimes they say um you know they want to get paid way more per se without realizing I, this is not just a writing project it's not just a ghost writing project you cannot compare apples to oranges okay this is not because on top of the writing you're writing about what you're passionate about. Number two, you can become a published author alongside with my publishing brand on all the major platforms out there as an ebook, paperback, hardback, audiobook, which features you at the end of the book as the expert for this topic to elevate your resume as well. But don't do this just for the resume, please, because I'm looking for people who want to contribute, provide real value to their audience, right? And that's the th type of thinking you got to have because sometimes the freelancers may think only about themselves. Oh, I just want to be a published author. Okay. And you know, they're focusing too much on themselves and said, how can I help my audience who want to learn how to do this? You know, maybe it can be too much like a memoir instead of a how to guy. I'm cool with both, but it's just like, realize it's a win, win, win situation. Not just win for you, but win for the writers. Okay, they become published authors on all the platforms out there without me charging uh, thousands of dollars like some services do, tens of thousands of dollars, right? Once you, you could write your, another book on your own, that's great, but this is a great project for beginners to become published authors without the complications of learning how to you know, get an ISBN, get a design, how to self-publish, et cetera, how to do Amazon ads, et cetera, et cetera, okay? Without all the hassle. So if you're interested, you know, let me know. But anyhow, it's a win-win-win situation. Win for the writer, win for the um, readers because they learn from real-life everyday experts and win for my publishing brand. We win-win-win situation, okay? So that's all I got to say for right now. If you want to learn more uh, about book publishing or an opportunity to write for my publishing brand as well, click the link below the video, take action, get started, I'll see you on the other side. Take care. Bye.